what is up everyone coffee break is back with another video this game was a tough one folks a tough one to talk about and even a tough one to watch a lot of great topics we could get to a lot of niner players played very well niners ultimately won right that was the end goal this week but i think it's only right to talk about the 49ers current injury situation the injuries they suffered during the game look if players are complaining about a turf issue before the game then that's probably not a good sign to begin with we all saw the game it appears that nick bosa and maybe solomon thomas is out for the year just a gut punch to the team who was already limping to week two no Kittle, D Ford, Sherman, Debo, amongst others. And now you have basically lost your best defensive player to a season ending injury. And this whole thing just brought back 2018 feels for me, right? 2018, Jimmy Garoppolo goes down. That was basically the season at that point, early on week three. And now you're kind of seeing something similar. I'm not saying it's as severe, but it's similar. The game was a quick jolt of excitement, turned into a somber one very, very quickly. This is not mentioning Jimmy Garoppolo having an ankle injury and Moster, who was having a good game, coming out because of a knee injury. Lord knows when he suffered that. Those two are not as serious and it's possible both miss games which is another major blow but now we'll have to wait and see who the 2020 san francisco 49ers really are they are extremely banged up at defensive line so they don't have that dynamic pass rush they once did who knows maybe it's time to see more javon kinlaw getting most of these reps now eric armstead will have to be better than last year somehow we'll anxiously wait the start of ronald blair but that's further down the line carrie Hyder jr has been a bright spot for this defense he's been a nice pickup he'll probably be starting next week also see what d ford can give you at this point though i don't expect nothing the 49ers are entering to be a different team this year we may have to rely more on the secondary to make more plays. Not the best choice, I know, considering corner is a struggling position this year. But we'll we'll see. We'll see what the Niners defense becomes. I know right now the strength of the defense, I mean it has to be linebacker, right? Fred Warner, Quan, and we may have to see more Dre Greenlaw have them carry this defense as we get healthier down the road hopefully but there's no doubt in my mind that this defense will be completely different with bosa being out and ford not playing at the moment and on offense you have to rely on the run game when healthy moster is a factor we saw what McKinnon can do, and your dose of Tevin Coleman will always be there, but the Niners will just have to rely on these backs. They rush for 182 yards combined in this game, and it might take a group effort like that to muster out some wins this year against tough opponents. And let's talk about the game now a little bit. And in the very first offensive play, Mostert goes 80 yards for a touchdown. Seems like the jets just packed it in early that was a weak effort defensively then the second drive comes and shanahan decides to keep mostert on the sidelines i mean when are we going to learn that mostert is the clear starter here it's frustrating keeping your best running back on the sideline jimmy garoppolo had a really good half he finished with 131 yards passing two touchdowns zero interceptions after the first couple of drives jimmy really picked it up and he was playing hurt for most of that he got injured i believe in the second drive he really gutted it through and it showed a lot of heart and leadership delivering that performance i was impressed we saw the emergence of jordan reed i mean he's so he's so good fluid 
he's like a receiver playing tight end out there he had a couple of touchdowns in this game also Kendrick Bourne stepped up in this game four receptions 67 yards we didn't see much of a uke I was hoping to see more but honestly they didn't really need him he had a couple of catches in this one the 49ers bread and butter offensively should and should always be run the football rely on your tight ends it's clear Jordan Reed and George Kittle are your biggest weapons after your running backs and the Niners just need to be physical at the line of scrimmage. But I honestly don't think they have the personnel on the offensive line to pull that off. Time and time again, it seemed like Lakin, Brunskill, or McGlinchey was just allowing these Jets pass rush get in the backfield. I mean, I know Quinn and Williams is great. He's a good player. He was balling. He played really well. Had two sacks in this one. Really gave the Niners some trouble. They could not block him. I only watched like the first quarter back. But Quinn and Williams was just beating Lakin. Offensive line is obviously a concern. Everywhere else I'm, I'm okay with except offensive line. I think there's certain areas. There's inconsistencies and the Niners will need to figure that out quick before you get your quarterback hurt again so if I'm Kyle Shanahan you may have to alter the the game plan to protect your quarterback I mean the Jets were just hitting Garoppolo left and right on every play it seemed like he was catching no breaks and I'm sure that's why we saw Nick Mullins come in in the second half so the Niners really need to figure out their their new identity if you will it has been forced to change now with key players out for a long period of time obviously nick bosa being out for the year i mean just think about it you'll be entering next week back at metlife stadium potentially without your starting quarterback running back tight end you already don't have Nick Bosa, Debo, Richard Sherman for sure. I mean, you just have to hope the Niners have enough players at the end of the day to finish the game. But anyways, fam, I know this is a tough pill to swallow and it might be a long year ahead, but let me get your thoughts on the game. This win did not feel like a win, even though the Niners just blew out the Jets and, and even the Jets players were dropping like flies in this one so it wasn't just the Niners Jets had players missing I mean the entire NFL Saquon Barkley was out Christian McCaffrey was out I mean Drew Locke from Denver was down there was a lot of players who went down this Sunday and it really sucks but go ahead and drop your comments below thank you all for watching and as always we'll see you on the next one guys Peace.